Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this uh, training event. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. I'm Elizabeth de Carvalho, and I'm a professor uh, at Obo University, and I'm the project coordinator. Uh, special thanks for uh, Jimmy and David for co-organizing co this uh, event. So, um, WINMIL uh, stands for Integrating Wireless Communication Engineering and Machine Learning. So it's about training uh, early stage researchers to have uh, to acquire uh, dual competence in wireless communications and machine learning. Uh, so the, the, uh, the, the windmill is funded under the Marie Curie actions and the Horizon 2020 of the European Commission. It started in January 2019 and will end in 2022. And again, the objective is to train 15 early stage researchers uh, in wireless communications and machine learning. Okay, so there is a number of uh, 10 beneficiaries which uh, host the different ESRs. And we have an extended um, network of 11 partners so the beneficiaries very uh, quickly are Oldborg University from Denmark, Uricom from uh, France, CTTC from Spain, Alto University from uh, Finland, University of Padova in uh, Italy, World Sensing, which is a company in uh, Spain, Nokia Bell Labs in France, Ericsson in Sweden, SDSC in Switzerland, and Bosch in, uh, in uh, Germany. And again, we have 11 partners uh, in which uh, the, who are going to host segments uh, of ESRs. The project Windmill is uh, organized around eight uh, work packages. So we have ethics requirements, which are quite important in the topic of machine learning. WP1, WP2 is in training. Then we have four work packages that I will, technical work packages that I will detail in a bit more a bit later. And we have uh, WP7, which is about coordination and project management, and WP8, which is about dissemination and outreach. So the research in Windmill is organized around four work packages. There is a first uh, work package called Advancing the Field of Machine Learning for Wireless Communications. A second work package is about prediction schemes and anticipatory optimization for fast varying processes. A third work package is about data-driven optimization for radio access management. And this, the fourth work package is about system-wide cognitive optimization schemes. So basically, uh, it goes from, it covers all the, um, all the layers in, uh, in wireless communication from physical layer, math layer, and then the network layer. So the first technical work package, advancing the field of ML for wireless communication centers around uh, algorithmic development and mixed abstraction of wireless uh, technology. It takes into account the wireless constraints, which are a highly dynamic environment, distributed wireless system dealing with distributed uh, algorithm implementation, and stringent end-to-end delay constraints. And there are uh, three ESRs working on this in this work package. Shearing, which works on density estimation of class posterior calibration in high dimensions. David works in analysis and optimization of collaborative machine learning, and Roberto who works in analysis and synthesis of machine learning algorithms in large dimensional settings. Uh, the second uh, work package, technical work package, deals with prediction schemes and anticipatory, anticipatory optimization of fast varying processes. So it's about learning and anticipating special temporal, temporal features of the wireless channel in multi-user, multi-antenna networks. It's also about radio maps for anticipatory optimization and user-specific beams and distributed and centralized processing as well as nonlinearity in physical layers. 
Uh, four ESRs uh, work in this work package. Uh, PERAV, who work in multi-point uh, channel charting for wireless uh, channel prediction. Matteo, who works in collaborative deep learning. Christian, who works in predictive machine learning for multi-user informing. And Sergey, who works in machine learning for real-time radio signal processing. The third work package is about uh, radio resource management, like power control, rate adaptation, load balancing, for example, in cellular systems, as well as IoT and uh, ULLC. So topics like uh, collision resolution or joint encoding schemes for data metadata resource management. So we have four uh, ESRs working in this work package, Mohamed, works in uh, uh, machine learning for massive connectivity. Chen Chang works in optimizing URLC data data and data flows using machine learning. Sobi works in applied machine learning for resource orchestration in a large wireless network. And Matthias works in deep reinforcement learning for radio uh, resource management. So now this is the last uh, work package on network uh, on the network layer and it deals with uh, distributed and hierarchical machine learning architecture to enable cognitive network slicing and uh, achieve wide system wide wide optimization with some consideration about security privacy and resilience to attacks for ESRs work in this uh, work package and I on the uh, anticipatory technique for wireless network optimization, Salman on cognition-based uh, networks, Darius on meter wave radar sensing for human computer interaction, and Pedro works in wireless network control system optimization using machine learning. In terms of training, uh, the training is uh, organized around five components. Uh, the network-wide training, which is, for example, the training of today, local training and external training, as well as second months and development through online uh, interactions. And all these uh, components are connected to what we call a knowledge sharing platform, or knowledge sharing platforms, more exactly. And these knowledge sharing platforms, the goal is to disseminate the project achievement, promote visibility of the win-win network, foster interaction and collaboration between ESRs, create publicly available resources, and improve didactic and organization skills. The platforms are the website, the project website, here we meet at itn.eu, which I invite you to, uh, to go and have a look at the different uh, contents uh, in this um, website. We have also a dedicated website uh, dedicated to the knowledge sharing platform where, for example, we have a blog that is written by the SRs. At least we have uh, Twitter and, uh, and LinkedIn. We have also career training day, which are days dedicated to the career development of uh, the ESRs. We have four days in total. We had one day in the first training and we will have three days in uh, future trainings events. So far, we had uh, four training events, two that were uh, still before the lockdown, so we could meet physically, and one that is online. Uh, it was organized by Ericsson, and today uh, we, we still have an online uh, meeting. Hopefully, the next, uh, the future training schools will be held in person. So we'll have one training school in uh, Brixton in Italy, one training, another training school in October in Alto, uh, another one in March uh, 2022 uh, in CTPC in Spain, and at least the final training will be in Switzerland. And we'll also have a final workshop in, um, in, a, in one of the co major conferences, ICC or Globcom. Okay, so that was it for uh, with me presentation. Thanks for your attention. And I'll be happy to answer any question you have.